We'd start early in the morning, all pile into a car, and just hit spots all over New York. It's like sweaty, bloody, all day and night, never stopping, and then just doing the same thing the next day. It was just the perfect age. You still have no responsibilities, and you've been doing the thing you love for so long and getting good at it, and all your friends are doing it, and everything comes together and makes like this perfect time period. He didn't want to get up to go to school. He didn't want to do his work. He just um, didn't really want to fit into the system. Quit the sports, quit school, and just basically did nothing else but skate. Just warming up, going down this like kinked kind of ramp, came off, pitched forward, put my knee down in an awkward way, and tore my ACL and PCL. After I got injured, I started drinking a little bit more. I was drinking like till 4 a.m. every single night, just like blackout drunk, clear the bar off. Eventually I got two DWIs. It just uh, started affecting the people around me, and that's when I was like, I can't keep doing this. When I quit, you know, everything became very clear, like the way I was behaving. When I got sober, it became more of like a necessity. I was just looking at it in a different way, and I just kept learning tricks, so then I was like, how far can I take this? All right, guys, the day has come. Episode one of 50 Tricks in 50 States Challenge. I went and learned a new skateboarding trick in every state in America, 50 days in a row, while daily vlogging the whole thing. All right, guys, just got to downtown Portland. Just got to Waynesville, North Carolina. Just got down here to New Orleans. Just got to Kalamazoo, Michigan. Just got to Lake Tahoe. Made it to Alaska. Day 50. I can't believe I made it to Maui, seriously. Sometimes it's hard to verbalize what you learn and go through, but I can say like after each challenge, when I look back, I've just evolved so much. I could just see things differently, met so many different people, different perspectives, shaped the way I look at the world. This is like seriously one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I did all 50 states and then I was just like, what's next? I'm gonna skate coast to coast, across the country, 3,000 miles. I'm not focused on that goal necessarily. It's the process of chasing it, that's the great thing. To realize essentially everything that you do or think that you are is a reflection of society, the people you grew up with, everything around you. You learn to separate yourself from that. You're not as attached to the pain. You're not identifying with, I'm this way, I'm that way. When you are skating, there's no time for thought. You're just relying on what you know. You're not like caught up in your mind and him skating, you know, it just brings him into the present. I got one thing in this life that I love to do and I'm just gonna use my body and everything I have to just share with other people. <laughs>